Good morning. So today we're doing our combo breathing with <clears throat> Mulubanda. But first, the mudra of the day, Shikara Mudra, S-H-I-K-A-R-A, -A, another word for Shiva. <clears throat> One hand is in Shikara Mudra, which is called Shani Mudra. So in a fist with the thumb up, the other hand, thumb folded over the pinky finger and the other three fingers up like the trishula. And then the really interesting thing is once you get these hand positions right, is to have what they call the menacing gaze. Like you're staring down, Shiva is the Lord of Destruction. Anything that would prevent you from being inspired, the menacing gaze. Right. Anyway, <clears throat> behind that of course also is the gentleness of the yogi. You know, the attribute of the heart that melts at all suffering, just like butter melts when it comes around a flame, but the heart of the human being, especially the saintly part, melts when it's next to any other human heart. So as a yogi, you learn to be stern with your own faults and gentle with the faults of other people, just like you would like to have a break, give other people the benefit of the doubt. All right, so let's do it. Exhale. Take your stance. Make a few slow, smooth inhales and exhales just to get a sense of where you are, your inner gyroscope. We're going to navigate from there. All right, Anuloma, exhale longer than inhale. Three cycles of open nostril inhale, alternate nostril partially closed exhale, and three more cycles, but this time with Mulabandha at the end of the inhale, and then a restorative breath afterwards. All right, so. On your next exhale, tell your nervous system, here we go. Raise the hand, open nostril, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Open both, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Repeat, open both, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Open both, inhale. Block right, narrow left, exhale. Open both, inhale. Close the left, partially close the right, exhale. Lock, open both nostrils, inhale. Lock right, partially close left, exhale. Drop the hand and restore to breathing. Now remember, concentration is an automatic faculty and is present in whatever you do that you like to do. Notice that when you're really interested in something, right, your attention easily flows to it, whereas at other times the attention is partial, right? So I hope that you love your practice so you can really focus on it. Exhale the breath, next round. Raise the hand, open nostril, inhale. Now wait there, pull the mulamanda. Lower abdominal area, in and up, don't use Ashwini Mudra. Let it go, exhale through the narrowed right. Open both inhale. Mulabandha, while you hold. Release the lock, block right, exhale, narrow left. Go 
relax the hand and restore the breathing. Now remember, we start beginners lying down, but the full power of pranayama cannot be experienced unless you're seated because of the use of the back body. So if you really want the power to come into play, do sitting practice after you master lying down and learning what it is to have a soft abdomen. All right, next cycle. Open nostril, inhale. Pause, Mulabanda. Release block left, narrow right, exhale. Open both inhale. Mulubanda. Let the lock glow, block right, narrow left, exhale. Restore your breathing. One more. Open nostril, inhale. Pause, Mulabanda. Release, block left, narrow right, exhale. And open nostril, inhale. Pull the root lock. Let it glow, block right, narrow left, exhale. Relax the hand and restore the breathing. Mr. Angar <clears throat> likens the spine to the stem of a leaf. And just the way the ribs spread to the side, the leaf curls concavely. Concavely. So the leaf moves to the side. So the back ribs have to stay conscious, supporting the body in front while the ribs move to the side. Remember that now as we go to Pratiloma. Exhale the breath, <clears throat> raise the hand. Block left, narrow right, inhale. Open both, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Open both, exhale. Repeat. Block left, narrow right, inhale. Open both, exhale. Close the right, narrow the left, inhale. Open both, exhale. Block left, narrow right, inhale. Open both, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Open both, exhale. Relax the hand, restore the breath. Now we're gonna add <clears throat> Mulabanda Remember, we're holding the mulabandha after the inhale. So that is why we practice antar kumbhak prior to this, to teach us how to retain the internal breath. Which is why tomorrow when we do uddiyana bandha, that's why we practice bhaya kumbhaka. So hopefully you'll understand how we're sequencing this 
to take you deeper and deeper. All right, so now <clears throat> three rounds with the Mulabanda. All right, make sure that the lift in your chest is such that the back portion of your armpit, that's the part that's on the other side, moves down toward your legs while the top front portion of your armpit moves up towards the head. Mm -hmm. So again, it's basically an up in the front, down in the back, which is using another point in the body. Back portion of your armpits down to your legs, front portion of your armpits up toward the top of your head and the sides spread. Tuck the chin, exhale the breath, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, inhale. Mulubanda. Open both nostrils, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Relax the hand, Mulabanda. Open both nostrils, exhale. Shorter breathing. Second cycle in the B round. Block left, narrow right, inhale. Pull the root lock. Release, open both nostrils, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Pull the root lock. Let it go. Open both nostrils. Exhale. And restore to breathing. I mean, the restore to breathing, you're recapping the whole idea of keeping the di abdominal area very, very soft. It should not pull on the thoracic area at all. When you lift the chest to breathe, there should be no drag. When the diaphragm drops down, everything stays nice and flat and you can open the skin of the frontal chest more. Exhale, next round. <clears throat> Block left, narrow right, inhale. Mulabanda. Release the lock, open both, exhale. Close the right, narrow the left, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, open both nostrils, exhale. Relax the hand, restore the breathing. One more round. After the exhale goes, raise the hand, block left, narrow right, inhale. Pause, pull the root lock, hold it without bursting, stably, no shaking. Release the lock, open nostril, exhale. Close the right, narrow the left, inhale. Last move on to this cycle, pull it. Isolate, don't squeeze the rectal muscles, just the lower abdominal area. Let it go, open the nostrils, exhale. Restore to breathing.
All right. Now the Chandra Vedana, three times in left, out right, with narrowed nostrils. And then the next three times, we'll add the Mula Bandha. All right, so remember, right before you begin your exhale, re-engage those shoulder blades. Don't have them rolling up. The shoulder blades have to be both pulled down and moved into the frontal chest to support you. Exhale the breath, raise the hand, block right, narrow left, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Drop the hand, restore to breathing. Remember, use your digital control to widen or narrow the nostrils as you need to to make the breath smooth, streamlined. All right, now concentrate here on the skin of the sternum from the collarbone to the top of the diaphragm. That skin spreads laterally. So only work that skin. See if you can focus there and don't let that skin drop on the exhale. All right, exhale the breath. Here we go, last three rounds. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Spread that sternum. Wait there, pull the root lock. Exhale. Block left, narrow right, exhale. Drop the hand, restore the breath. Smoothest flow that we can. Exhale the breath, raise the hand. Block right, narrow left, inhale. Wait there, pull the root lock. Release the lock, block left, narrow right, exhale. Relax the hand, restore your breath. Final cycle, make it the best one. Raise the hand, block right, narrow left, inhale. Pause, root lock, without using a Shwini Mudra. Release the lock, block left, narrow right, exhale. Release the hand, restore to breathing. The eyes closed, slowly raise your head up, slowly open your eyes. Okay, well, I hope that that helps you a little bit more to develop maturity in your articulation of your breathing, especially when you're doing the Mulbanda to distinguish the lower abdominal area pull from Ashwini Mudra, which is the rectal muscles, but you can distinguish the two with practice and differentiate. So don't forget your Shikara Mudra right? With a menacing gaze. Anything that would keep you away from spirit, that's what we're menacing. We're keeping out of our sphere. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.